from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm Judy Dixon, Consumer Relations Officer at NLS. In this edition of the BARD Mobile How-To series, I am going to cover using advanced voiceover gestures. Advanced voiceover gestures, which I will demonstrate, can be used to streamline the BARD Mobile user experience. Clicking up with three fingers will scroll down one page. Rotating clockwise will select the next rotor setting. Flicking down will move to the next item using the rotor setting. Scrubbing with two fingers will activate the back button. Double tapping with three fingers will turn speech on and off. In a long list, such as audiobooks and recently added titles, you can go through the list quickly with a three finger flick up gesture. Wish list, recently added titles, audiobooks. Audiobooks, zero items. Get audiobooks, Willow, Andrews, rows five to nine of 51. Rows 9 to 13 of 51. Rows 9 to 13 of 51. T rows 13 to 18 of 51. The focus has to be on the list for this gesture to work. To spell an author's name, you can use the rotor to change to characters. Changing the rotor setting is like turning a knob on the screen. Words. Hints. Words. Characters. More info. The Storms of Love, a new Camfield novel of love. Cartland, Barbara. The Storm Words. The Storms of Love, a new Camfield novel of love. Cartland. Cartland. Characters. Capital C A R T L A N D. Delta. You can spell the name by using the flick down gesture that moves through the items that the rotor is set for. In this case, the rotor is set for characters, so flicking down moves through the screen one character at a time. A two-finger scrub gesture activates the back button. Get books. Heading. Two fingers are moved in a backwards Z shaped. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.